Why? Why did this happen? <sighs> when it rains, it pours. This is not what I had planned. Behave. Ling Yang, Rover. Thanks for the tip, young lady. We made it in time to catch them because of you. Ling Yang, Rover, are you all right? Beishi. 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 I'm so sorry I made you worry. Though seeing your reunion is truly touching, I still gotta say, this isn't the right place for conversation. Let's head back to the city first. So, when you found out that Bei Shi lost her courage because of the Jingle Beast, you came up with a plan to get rid of it. Yeah. I thought I could kill the Jingle Beast and make my sister happy again. And I heard rumors about an exile group called the Savages. Said they knew how to talk to that beast. So I thought... Yes. I wanted to prove my courage. Wanted to make her proud of me. I just wanted to show her. If her timid brother could do it, so can she. But in the end, I couldn't achieve anything. I failed. Couldn't find the Jingle Beast. Couldn't beat the bad guys. I only knew how to cower in fear. That's all I could do. I'm just an incompetent coward. I've always been. No, that's not true. At least you didn't choose to work with those bad guys. Succumbing to desire and killing their own kind? These are the deeds of beasts. It's a uniquely human trait to go against their natural instincts, even sacrificing themselves for someone else or for a greater cause. It only takes a moment for a human to descend into beastliness. But holding on to one's humanity requires unwavering commitment and courage. Bei Ji, you've already proved your bravery. I'm sure your sister is proud of you too. Really? Yes. I love you, brother. But promise me you won't do anything stupid again. Okay. Yes, I promise you. But, um, at least I did find something this time. We now know the so-called Jingle Beast is just a bluff. So, Beishi, you don't need to fear it anymore. But I did hear the bell. Perhaps it was just your imagination. Or maybe it was some tacit discords? No way. I heard it loud and clear. I, I couldn't have mistaken it. Hmm. I guess we still need to help Bei Shi get over the Jingle Beast. Rover, Ling Yang, we'll be going home now. Sorry for the trouble I caused. Sure. Go get some good rest. Don't forget to come see the Lion Dancing Show tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow? Don't tell me you've forgotten your lion dance request. No. No, I didn't. Sorry. Actually, 
I made that request to further investigate the Jingle Beast. But now, I guess that's no longer necessary. I see. I know you've still got questions about the Jingle Beast. Who knows? You may find the answers in tomorrow's lion dancing show. I see. We'll come watch the show. Yeah. Please do come, okay? Rover, I know you still have a lot of questions to ask. And there are things I'd like to discuss with you. Please, follow me. Keep going down this road and we'll reach the theater. But I guess you've been there many times already. Well, let's just hang out a bit while we're here. Sir, may your business boom. Thank you, Lin Yang. After our adventure in the wilderness, the hustle and bustle brings a comforting sense of prosperity. I must do what I can to keep it thriving. Have a happy wedding, Miss Lin Ling. Thank you, Lin Yang. Miss Gamshue's shop is always so popular. Let's not bother her now. Her souvenirs are all made with care. I'm sure people will love them. Phew! And now we're back. Ling Yang, you're finally here. Master's been looking for you. Oh no, I completely forgot. Rover, could you look around backstage for a bit? See if you can find anything that might help Beishi overcome her fear. I'll be right back. Well, hurry up. Master's getting angry. I'm coming, I'm coming! Unexpected discovery. Rover, I'm back. My master is super strict before our performances. He wants us to give our all for the people of Jinzhou. Can't disappoint them. Hmm. Let's begin with the history of this tradition. Lion dance shows started as a way to cheer up returning soldiers and boost their morale before battles. It evolved over time into a way to boost soldiers' spirits before battle, symbolizing courage and the hope for victory. Later on, it transformed into the festive performance we see today. But it's still about keeping bad luck away, dispelling fear, and passing prosperity and protection to future generations. Beishi got hit pretty hard during the attack, and she probably blanked out for a bit. Then, perhaps her brain made up some fake memories about that creepy Jingle Beast to fill in the... Bei Ji wanted to kill the Jingle Beast to help his sister. Indeed, getting rid of the thing she fears could work, but that won't solve the real issue. Like we heard on our way here, the scary beast comes with many different names. We can defeat the Jingle Beast now, 
but another Twinkle Beast could appear later. It's not enough to just defeat that one Jingle Beast. One must have the courage to take on any beasts. That's why I want to help Bei Shi overcome her fear with our Lion Dance performance. As the Lion Dance evolved, it picked up various new styles and elements, which hold unique significance to each person. Our goal is to create a customized performance that truly benefits Bei Shi. Okay, gotta go prep now. See you at tomorrow's Lion Dance show. Hi, Rover. There you are. It's been quite a while since I last saw a Grand Lion Dance show like this. I'm so excited about it. Rover, do you know what the secret is about the Jingle Beast Ling Yang was talking about? Oh, the show's beginning! calling for help. Once chased by a big creature in the wilderness. All I could hear was a bell ringing, and my only thought was to run away. Then I heard about the Jingle Beast, so I figured it must have been what attacked me. But when I saw you perform today, it all came back to me. That's the same bell ringing sound I had heard back then. So I must have been saved by that bell. The bell that sounded like it was chasing after me. It was actually guiding me away from danger. The Lion Dance inspires and empowers each person in a unique way. 
I'm glad my performance could give you courage and inspiration. Yeah, I loved your performance. I think I can keep working as an explorer for the Pioneer Association now. Beishi, that's amazing. When you joined the Association, I was actually so proud. I'm happy you get to keep chasing your dreams. And, um, please forgive me. I am upset, because you never told me anything. You always carried the burden alone. You didn't even tell me you were gonna go kill the Jingle Beast. Don't you ever do something like that again. I promise, I promise. Let me treat you to something as my sincere apology. I know a nice food stall. It's right up ahead in the square. You should check it out. Awesome. Beishi, let's go. Rover, how was my performance? Did you like it? <laughs> Getting your compliment is all that matters to me. Rover, thank you so much for your help. I couldn't have accomplished any of this without you. Yeah, sure. Let's talk somewhere more private. Talk here. Where should I begin? Rover, have you ever thought about this? Since there are humans with resonance abilities, then could there ever be beasts with the same kind of power? Uncontrolled emotions in human resonators lead to disasters. It's even more dangerous in beasts, as they follow instincts. Over time, most of them died out, driven extinct by their unrestrained desires. Beasts that can bring their power under control are extremely rare, but they do exist. And the Jingle Beast, it happened a long, long time ago. The Jingle Beast wasn't called the Jingle Beast. It used to have a name. It was called... Swan Ni. Back then, the Swan Nis lived a tranquil life in deep forests. However, when the Tacit Fields expanded rapidly, their territories were not spared. Some of them had to encroach upon certain human territories for a chance to survive. Humans suffered greatly against the Swanis with their terrifying appearance, powerful resonance abilities, and wild animal instincts. And that's why the Swanis were deemed evil. I read it in an old book in Huanglong. Said they lived under that giant violet banyan tree in the dim forest. The Swanese have nearly gone extinct over the years. And now, there might be only one of them remaining. And... I've heard of an interesting theory from the archaeologists. That last Swanee might have yearned to become a human. To make itself more approachable, it first came up with a less intimidating name. Something like the Jingle Beast. And then it yanked off all its fur, filed down its claws, 
twisted its bones and learned to stand upright. Maybe it was drawn by the bustle and merriment of human cities. It must have been lonely as the last of its kind. Maybe it was moved by human bravery against the lament and wanted to offer help. Maybe it wanted to fight the catastrophe that ruined its once homeland. Or maybe it simply couldn't resist human foods. Anyway, it never really became a human in the end. If it truly wanted to become human, it had to first understand the essence of what makes a human. If you ask me, the essence would be the heart of a human. Therefore, the Jingle Beast no longer rejected its appearance and began to, in its animal form, connect with humans to assist them. Perhaps, in this process, it happened to save a girl in the wilderness. Rover, what do you think the ending for the Jingle Beast was? Did it finally become a human? Well, is that what you think? I think the Jingle Beast no longer cares whether it's a human or a beast. It lives in its own way. In this world, there are beings with the appearance of a beast and the soul of a human, just as there are beings with the appearance of a human and the soul of a beast. All it needs to do is be true to itself. It will remain resolute and convey the beautiful and inspiring qualities it once saw in humans in its own way. Oops, I got carried away and almost forgot. Here, keep this bell as a memento. Thank you, Rover. Ling Yang, come here. Coming! Rover, I must go get the props ready for the next show. Come watch my performance again next time. Food's on me. Please keep this bell. It should bring you good luck. Fare thee well, blessing swell. Guide me.
an unexpected discovery. to come and see it in person for the full effect. And that's thanks to your efforts, Wenshu. Well, I'm just doing my job. I should be the one thanking you. After all, without the Midnight Rangers tirelessly guarding the front lines, the Riverside Games wouldn't be possible. It won't always be so tense. Sometimes you have to give yourself a breather. It's not good to push yourself too hard. So, how about picking up an event to participate in? Wenshu. Thank you, but you don't have to pitch me. Why not? Go, enjoy your youth. I would have rushed to sign up if I was still young. Rover, it's good to see you here. Oh, I guess you must be the Rover. Nice to meet you. I'm the director of the Riverside Games. You can call me Wenshu. Huh. I almost dropped the ball on this one. I would have forgotten to send out those invitations without Jian's reminder. It's not worth mentioning, Wenshu. This is the first Riverside Games in many years, and you must have been busy with various matters. I only offered a little help when I could. Rover, it's a slow day today. Please take a break and have some fun. That's right. Go participate in the event, you two. That's how you enjoy your day off. Of course. The Jinjo Riverside Games is an event for all people to enjoy. Indeed. I'm looking forward to your performance, Rover. Only a few events specifically require participants to be resonators. Other than that, there are no special restrictions for any event. We haven't held the Riverside Games in years. <laughs> Look at him. Jian still remembers the rules better than I do. Who would have thought? During the preparation, I came across some pictures from past games and instantly felt a rush of adrenaline. Ah, the memories of my youth. It's a pity that the Midnight Rangers are always on the front lines, getting ready for emergencies. The Riverside Games is their only chance to relax and have some fun. Rover, I suggest looking around for events to join if you're interested. Many of them are open to on-site registration. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to confirm the safety of the surroundings before the race begins. You can console Wenshu should you need any assistance. Have a great time, Rover. Oh well, I didn't invite him over for that. I hoped he'd come and relax, not find a new place to work. On the other hand, we couldn't have brought the situation at the borders under control without Jian's prudence. Sorry, I'm getting off track. The Gullpuff Relay is about to start, and I have to go to the scene in case anything happens. Especially those still warming up in the backup lane. Gotta bring them over. Rover, are you coming with me? Let me be there for everyone, as we head toward our shared future, leaving the past behind the world around me. I can hear it clearer now. Since I became an outrider, I've met people from all on the dangerous frontier.
Let me be your blade. Winds lift me. Since I became an... Some believe remnant creatures are embodied. Some people are good at listening, while some are good at counseling others. Yang Yang is good at... I am Baijiu, a researcher at the... Jinjo Patroller, happy birthday! Try this! I made this bowl of Mautzai all by myself, with extra Victor Saver added... Keep your happy birthday. Is there anyone or any... This is a testament to my... What do I think of you? You're... Reciting the Heart Sutra brings calmness and enlightenment. Occasionally I would recite, Is this your real date of birth? The anniversary of your birth is very much worth celebrating indeed. I should try to smile more, you say? Like this? Enlightenment lies in tireless pursuit. Another day? I see my way clear. Anything I can help you with? forward.
careful. I can help you with anything I can help you with Embracing change. 
Let me be your blade. Synchronize me. Shape the shapeless. Reverberation. Ha! Hopefully this helps. Down with the curtain! Wind guide me. Surrender your stuff. <laughs> Hopefully this helps.
every game.
one shall whisper. Hopefully this helps. Leave it to me. Guide me. Thank you. 